Rock Transformations Unit, Lesson 1.2, Studying Rock Formations and Samples. Activity 3, Observing Hand Samples of Rock. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Next, you'll make observations of four hand samples of rock. Studying them will help you learn how to gather evidence from these kinds of samples. These hand samples represent different types of rock that are commonly found on Earth. You have probably seen a lot of rocks in your life and are familiar with the many types of rocks. But what is a rock? Like everything in this room, including you, your desk, and the air around us, rocks are matter. What then is matter? Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Vocabulary. Matter. Anything that has mass and takes up space. Therefore, all rocks are matter because they have mass and take up space. Specifically, rocks are made of minerals, and minerals are kind of matter. Different rocks have different amounts and types of minerals. A rock's characteristics depend on what minerals it is made of and how that rock formed. Vocabulary. Sample. A small part that is meant to show what the whole is like. The rocks you will be observing are called hand samples. A hand sample is a piece of rock you can hold in your hand or analyze in a lab that can give you information about the rock formation it came from. Geologists collect and study hand samples because they can be used to understand which minerals are in a rock formation and how the rock formation formed. Hand samples can also tell us about the environment the rock formation formed in. For example, in a shallow water or in a deep ocean. Vocabulary. Rock formation. A region of rock that formed together as a single type of rock. Remember to look at the glossary if you need more support. Throughout the unit, you can look up vocabulary words in the glossary to help you understand what they mean. Each of the colors or group or layers you see in the Grand Canyon is a rock formation. A small piece of a single rock formation, such as the piece of sandstone in the image, is a sample. Next, you'll work in groups to make your observations of samples. Within your group, you'll each have a partner. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Observing hand samples of rock. Step 1. With your partner, carefully observe two of the rock samples. Use the hand lens to look closely at the rocks. Step 2. Record your observations as you discuss what you notice. Step 3. Switch rocks with the other pair in your group and repeat steps 1 and 2. Students, take a few minutes to make open-ended observations and discuss them with your partner. Record your observations as you discuss. After a few minutes, exchange rocks. Take another few minutes to make observations and discuss them. Evidence Criterion. More detailed observations provide stronger evidence. We will be using this evidence criterion to evaluate evidence throughout this unit. It will help us decide how strong different pieces of evidence are. It is solid and transparent. It is transparent, has a circular shape, has line markings on the side with numbers, and is made of a hard, solid material. Let's imagine I was observing an object in our science classroom. Which description would make it easier for you to identify the object I was talking about? The second description. From that description, I might guess that you were talking about a beaker or a cylinder. From the first description, you could be observing anything in the classroom that is transparent, such as a window or piece of glass. You just made several observations about your rocks. Do you think someone else could identify each rock based only on your written observations? Observe the rocks again and revise what you recorded, adding more detailed observations. How can you tell the rock samples apart? What is similar about some or all of the rock samples? Which of your observations could be true about the whole rock formation and which are probably only true about the sample? You might respond, the sample is hard, so the whole rock formation is hard. The sample has rounded edges, but that doesn't mean the whole rock formation has rounded edges. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work in Amplify for this activity before moving on. End of lesson.